Hey everyone, it's Jenny at JC Cards. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing two slimline cards. They feature clean and simple designs and I'm using a bunch of goodies that I was lucky enough to be sent by scrapbook.com to create my cards today. They focus mainly on sentiments and I'm going to show you how I created both of them in today's video. But first let me get you a look at all of the goodies that scrapbook.com sent me and I use pretty much all of these in my cards today. So first off, I've got these slimline card panels, note cards and envelopes. They're all pre-cut for those of us who struggle a little bit on our measurements. Uh, the panels themselves are 80 pound cardstock and the note, note cards are 110 pounds. Scrapbook.com's released some slimline paper pads and these come in a variety of colors. I've got the warm paper pad here. It's got some lovely yellows and oranges and corals and sort of darker, sort of corally pink purple colors, which I'm gonna be using today. Uh, they're tried and true ink blender tools, which have a nice dome to them, making it a little bit easier to get a nice blend without those uh, blender tool marks. And then I've got a couple of hybrid inks. I'm gonna be just using the Prisian purple today. Uh, these are hybrid ink pads. They make it a little bit easier to blend in my experience. Uh, you might find different. And they have got a felt uh, ink pad here. So I'll just give you a look at that. And then they also sent me a couple of metallic ink pads. These are pigment ink. I'm going to be using the metallic frost on one of my cards today, which is a sort of glitzy white ink. Uh, looks really nice against that purple and I just really wanted to try that. And then they also have this gold ink pad, which uh, I'm not gonna be using in my cards today, but I thought I'd give you a look. They are foam uh, pads. I've got these word dies. This is the three-piece summer word die set. They feature the words summer, beach, and sun because we need some of that right now. It's raining outside today. And then these word fetti stamp sets are great. They've got so many sentiments in them in this great type font, which I just love. Great for adding a little sub-sentiment, or as you can see on one of my cards later on, I use them as the main focal point for my cards. I've got these, I think they're called the nested tickets slimline dies, which are great for creating little borders or creating a little bit of interest on the edging of your slimline card. And then this lattice slimline stencil, super pretty. I'm definitely gonna be using that on my card today. And then finally, these pops of color. You know me, I love Nouveau drops. These are quite similar. I'm gonna be using both these colors today on my card. In my experience, they dry a little flatter and they're a little bit more like the enamel dots, but they have a really nice sheen to them. So let's get started. On my first card, I've grabbed one of those panels, really nice, good to go, don't have to cut it. And I'm using this ink blending tool to blend the Parisian purple ink up from one side. It did take quite a while, I will be honest with you. I could have potentially swiped that ink pad along the bottom to get a really deep color, but uh, I hadn't ink blended for a while, so I decided I was just gonna go for it. And then I'm gonna fade it out around about midway up that slimline card. Now for my stencil, I'm using this lattice stencil. I'm attaching it at the back with some masking tape and then flicking it over. And that way I make sure that I don't get any tape marks when I'm gonna be doing my uh, ink blending with my metallic frost ink here. And you'll see with this one, I'm pouncing it. So before when I was ink blending up the panel, I was doing that kind of normal ink blending motion. For stenciling, particularly with pigment ink, I prefer to pounce it on and that way you get a much better outline and it's not gonna shift that stencil or bleed outside of that line. And you'll see you get this gorgeous sheen as I tilt it in the light from that metallic frost ink. I'm gonna adhere it down onto one of those note cards. I did trim it very slightly, so there's a tiny uh, white border peeping out all around the edge. It's more noticeable where I've got my purple ink blending. And then for my sentiment, I'm gonna be using this patterned paper. It's 85 pounds, so it's a little sturdier, but I still will need to back it onto something to give it a little bit more dimension and stability. So I'm using that sun die, and I've die cut it from the darkest color of paper from the, from the notepad. And I'm using some liquid glue to adhere it down onto some craft foam. This is purple uh, adhesive craft foam I have in my stash. You guys probably, if you follow me, know that I use this a lot. 
And just one recommendation, particularly for more delicate sentiment dyes, uh, keep that foam in place. So you'll see I haven't popped it out yet when you're adding any sort of other die cuts over the top. So I'm layering here first before I remove my uh, foam from where I die cut it from. That's just to avoid it sort of stretching. Craft foam has a has an uncanny ability to stretch and you don't notice it too much until you go to add your layers together and you realize it's it's stretched out of place. And then I can just peel off that adhesive underneath that craft foam and stick it directly onto the front of my card. I used purple because I thought it'd be fun when you look at the side, you can see that purple matches the ink blending. Now I'm gonna grab one of the sentiments from the set that says, you are my sunshine. And I'm using the sun dye for you are my son. I'm gonna have to snip, snip my stamp. Uh, it, it happens occasionally, I do do it. They do fit back together again if, you, if you're worried. Uh, but uh, I, I say snip those stamps, make them do what you want them to do. And I'm gonna heat emboss it in white embossing powder onto some black, sturdy black cardstock here using my trusty Catherine Pooler acrylic blocks, which I love. I've treated the uh, black cardstock with a powder tool to make sure that I don't get any embossing powder sticking where I don't want it to. And then I'm gonna use a coffee filter to catch any excess uh, in there and it lets me funnel it back into that pot. So you can see this just says, you are my. You could also selectively uh, ink up the the, uh, the stamp itself if you don't want to cut it. I just find that a little harder to do. And then I'm gonna trim it down into a little strip and give it a jaunty angle and pop it up on some foam tape. And then I'm using these pops of color. This one's a really nice kind of pink color. I think it's bubble gum. I'm gonna add those in a few places and then flick the back of your card. It will make sure that it removes that sort of peak and you get this really nice kind of flat glossy look uh, when it's dried. And that finishes my first card. For my second, I really wanted to showcase all the colors of the uh, paper that were in this paper pad. I think they go together so beautifully. So I die cut the word beach, which is from that summer uh, beach sentiment die set from every single color of the cardstock. And then I'm going to make them a little bit more sturdy by backing them with some 110 pound uh, white cardstock, or you could use one of your pre-cut slimline panels. I didn't want to waste them. Uh, so I just grabbed some from my stash. And I'm just going to put one layer behind each of these. I'm not going to kind of uh, go crazy with five layers. Uh, you could if you wanted to add a bit more dimension, but I'm going to adhere these directly onto a panel uh, in an ombre order. So using the guide on the front of the paper pack, I'm going to arrange them in that exact same color order. I just really like how that graduated color uh, results. And this is a look at it. I did just eyeball it. I didn't actually uh, measure or anything like that. You could of course do that, have them squished up together, uh, have them more spaced out. But uh, just to add a little bit more interest, I'm using the largest of these dies just to die cut out my panel. It will just about die cut outside of those word dies and it gives those nice little um, nicked corners, which I can then pop up on some foam tape. I'm using some Alta New foam tape here just to mount them onto, on, mount the panel onto one of those pre-cut slimline note cards. So beach, we're going to the beach. At some point when it stops raining, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here in New York, it's, uh, it's the weather has not been the greatest this summer, I will say, so far. Uh, but at least we can uh, get some summery vibes from the this color of uh, cardstock and pattern paper, right? So I'm going to use my word fetti stamps again. I'm gonna stamp three different uh, phrases from the set onto jet black cardstock in embossing ink and then heat emboss them in that white embossing powder as I did before and then trim them out and then I'm going to add them all at a jaunty angle onto the front of my card with foam strips. And it just says remember this magical moments celebrate the everyday which I think we really do need to do especially at this uh, difficult time that everyone's going through. And that finishes my second card. Of course, I did add some pops of color, this time in that beautiful lemony color and flick the back just to make sure they flatten out. And that finishes my second card. 
Here's a quick look at both of them again. You can see the star of the show is really sentiments and uh, super clean and simple, but with little touches from that metallic ink and that ombre pattern paper, just really kind of draws the eye in. Really easy to make. And I hope this inspired you to think about making sentiments the star of your, of your card next time you get in your craft room. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed. I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up or a comment. I really love reading them. And consider subscribing to my channel if you don't already. Thank you to scrapbook.com for sending me all these awesome goodies. And I've linked the supplies in the description box below if you want more details. Have a wonderful day. Bye.